Hey guys, it's John. And Kimmy. Welcome back to Virtue's Last Reward. We just got done with the archives. Yeah, we did. And uh, they're discovering the warehouse with the white doors for the last time. <laughs> Woo! This is the last time we have to go through this. Let's see Good. Like it. Just like the one on floor A. There's graffiti on the wall here too. Oh it's my goodness. different though. Like, I would just like skip through everything, but sometimes there's a different thing that's revealed. So. Right. Did they make a mistake? So that isn't how you spell it. Oh, ninth. The that's ni right. Ninth lion. Ninth. Remember, Fi already commented on this. Right. How many lions eating the sun have we found? Um. So the archive. There's one in every room, I think. Oh, so we've probably oh, found all of them. No, no, no. There's not one in every room. Or is there one in each of those doors that we, on this? Yeah, I think the ninth lion is the one in the director's office. Oh. You're probably right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I think this is a reference to the director's office lion. Mm -hmm. the sun. What if it's Nineth? <laughs> it's <laughs> Nineth. It's supposed to be, just be ninth. But right, but they added that E to ninth, but why? Yeah, that is weird. What does it mean? Well, I think memento mori is Latin for something like remember death or don't forget your mortality. <laughs> You're gonna die! That other part, I mean, I assume it's just what it says on the tin. A conditional relating to whether or not a lion has eaten the sun? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. What That's what it is. What on earth does that mean? It just seems like gibberish. Gibberish. <laughs> Whatever it means is beyond me. We still don't know what it means. Look at that door over there. Like, we know what it means on face value, but we also know the other one was mixed up. Right. Doesn't it look just like the one on the other floor? Yeah, but there isn't anything written on this one. We still don't know what this is either. Yeah. Yeah, there's a big nine on the other door. I guess that means this door isn't important. I don't see anything that looks like it might open it either. Yep. Nothing. Not opening. Of course it isn't. I mean, look at this thing. It's solid steel. Well, how do you open it then? From the other side, maybe? The other side? Hey, what's the deal with those doors over there? The ones that are glowing white. Do you think they could be chromatic doors? Yes. There <laughs> are three of them. Yes. <sighs> hmm. So yeah, so this is why I said there's probably only one more, because there's only three of these doors, and we've been through two of them. Right. One's the director's office. Mm -hmm. Another one is the uh, security room that we went to with Fi. Right. With the we... cameras. And is we that had where that the weird... robot was? Huh? Is that where the robot was? The robot. No, Am that I was think the Gollum Bay. Okay. But in that one, we discovered things about golems and that there is one golem that's active. So we right. can assume that somebody's a golem. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. Which I'm going to vote for K. That would make the most sense, yeah. See, they've got those little boxes. This must be the same. Yeah, we know. But what if we're the golem? Same color. Well... For all the other doors, I mean, we had to add that would be cool. together That'd to be make a cool another twist. color. It's a possibility for everybody. In right. this case, we probably just have to make white instead. Yeah, we've already been over this. Suddenly, the voice of the announcer echoed through the warehouse. An ambidex gate has been opened. Fucking deal. minutes. Yeah, yeah. What? How the hell did that happen? Someone on one of the other teams must have opened one. All they'd need is one of the moon keys. Well, why would they do that without waiting for the rest of us? We can ask them when we get there. Come on. I wish that just once one of them would be like, fucking Dio. Yeah, you know I that know, they would I call know. him by name. But and they'd like, be like, why did you think it was Dio? And they're like, I don't know. I just feel like he's the most likely. Right, but this is like the second AB game. So it hasn't happened until now. But it's we're happened. time hopping, and we're yeah, kind right. of aware of it. It's and happened bye. like nine times. This is the ninth time it's happened for us. Yeah. Yeah. Was there one time that it wasn't Dio? Uh, I think it's always been Dio, right? I think it's always been Dio, yeah. Yeah. And I think he's done it every time. So. 
Now we gotta wait for them to travel there. Get fully immersed in, uh... Let's go fight. I mean, I kind of appreciate that they do this, but at the same time, it's like, come on. I know. Come on. Get a move on. <laughs> Burn in daylight. <laughs> we know the story. Let's go. Wasting my time. The greatest of all sins. We leapt out of the magenta door and into the warehouse. There stood Tim, Yoji, Dio, and Alice. Hey, what the hell is this? Why'd you open up one of the AP rooms before the rest of us got back? Alice and I haven't done anything. Dio apparently felt he didn't need to wait. <laughs> you got a problem? Uh, you got a problem? You got a problem with that? Yes. Yes, I do have a problem. Why? I don't remember saying anything about waiting until everyone got back to open the AP rooms. He doesn't I know. don't remember that. Are you kidding me? We didn't talk about it because that was common sense. Sigma's right. We were able to get back quickly, but... Luna mad. She mad. But what about the other group? <laughs> <laughs> the others could still be stuck somewhere. <laughs> no sooner were the words out of her mouth. Oh, thank goodness. You're all here. <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> Accidentally. <laughs> Did something happen? Yes. It's Quark, you see. He oh, yeah, Quark what collapsed. To Quark? He collapsed. It happened so suddenly. We were just searching our room. We're also worried. Skip. What? Please, this condition could change at any moment. You He's in go. the infirmary. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's, it loses its impact after eight right. times. We don't really care about Quark yeah. anymore. I don't Let's care. Go. And seeing Temyoji have the exact same reaction, like, oh, no. Where do I Quark. go? Yeah. And basically, like, Quark. He would pull out an AK-47 and gun us all down if it meant saving Quark, you know? <laughs> it's true, he like, would. Like, he doesn't give a shit Come about on, any yeah. of this. Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> Shaking him. Temyoji grabbed Quark's shoulders. If you gotta shake him desperately, this is exactly what happened. Skip. Oh, bless. Oh. Oh, he's oh, diagnosed with Radical 6. He's got Radical 6. <laughs> the archives. No, we don't just... have the uh, thing. Pause, pause, the books appear. They're asking about, uh... Is this Excelibir. boring you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, me too. Nothing even remotely like medicine there. No, what you can't you be bored. <laughs> I'm alone to be I can be bo bored. I can be bored. This is the 18th time I've seen this, okay? <laughs> I can't be bored at 9th? No. But that's so many times. No, you can't be bored at the 9th time. <laughs> Was there any medicine in your room? Clever. I'm terribly sorry. Did he go to the bee garden? There was nothing of the sort in the garden. Mm. Plenty of vegetation, but unfortunately, no medicine. Oh God, he's, he's going to, oh God, yep. no. <laughs> Look, just to be sure, where did the three of you go? The pantry. There's oh, there's tons of food there. everywhere, but Excelivir, no. So he doesn't have it, okay. So nobody has Excelivir. Temioji slumped to the ground. Skip. <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna kill myself! I let me die! I need my soul to be free! <laughs> I have to die! <laughs> it's more like... If Monokuma. Like whiny Monokuma. Yeah. <laughs> so we're searching for Alice, because she's doing... She's affected by Radical Six. No one here, huh? <laughs> Damn, where'd she go? No point in complaining. I just need to look somewhere else. I turned it head towards the exit. We've already been through. He always goes to the lounge. I know. It's I guess it's his favorite place. I feel like it's Dio's favorite place. He's always talking it up. I'll be in the lounge. I'm going to the lounge. If you need me, I'll be in the lounge. I'd be like, see you in the bee garden. Bee garden. Very badass, Kimmy. Thank you. See you in the bee garden. Bee garden. <laughs> you looked all smug at <laughs> Like the, <laughs> like it's clearly the coolest place. Duh. Yeah, cause it is. I like the bee garden. Yeah. I'm pro bee garden. Me too. Oh, you think she's in the pantry, Sigma? Fucking idiot, wasting our fucking time. Fucking stupid, fucking idiot, stupid, fucking piece of shit. Someone's impatient! You're uh, getting lines. I'm getting what? <laughs> lines. 
it. That's how he said it, and I don't know why. What are you talking about? You're getting lines to read out loud. Oh, I thought you said limes. Lime. You're getting Fuck. limes. It's like, <laughs> I'm not. You're getting limes, John. Alice, Demioji, and Dio search this room. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Actually, I think this is new. Damn. <laughs> Nothing here either. No, we've, we've, we've done this room. No, but we haven't gone there searching for Alice, I don't think. Oh, gotcha. Okay. We need to find her quick or she's going to do something bad. <laughs> she loses it like Quark did. Nobody's around to stop her. Yeah. That is something that happened. Yep. Shit. I need to hurry. I decided to try the garden where Phi, Quark, and Kay had gone after passing through their door. Ah, oh, okay. Never mind. It's so hard not to expect the other rooms to be open. You know? Yeah. Because we've been through them, but that was a different timeline. Because I'm like, why aren't you going to the treatment center? Why aren't you right, going to the infirmary? Right. Like, why aren't you going yeah, to... Yeah, it's a different timeline. Right. And no, they haven't been to the treatment center. And wasn't the Excelivir in the Golem Bay? No, it was in the laboratory. The lab. No. Yeah, it was in the laboratory, right. and that's also where the IG replicator is. Right. So they can make more than one. First thing I noticed when I stepped inside was the smell. Plant life was everywhere. And the air was filled with the fresh scent of it growing, underlaid with the sweet, dry tones of dead leaves underfoot. While the air outside had been dry and harsh, and here, it was warm and wet, like a forest after a spring rain. <laughs> Just like Kay said, plants and stuff everywhere. Okay, come on, come on. Come on, she's over there. Damn, she's not here either. This is bad. We've been searching for Alice for a while and I found nothing. So she's not in here. I hope that nothing had happened to her, but... Oh, she's not in the bee garden. She was in here last time with Fi. She was. Huh. I searched every corner of floor B. She was nowhere to be seen. That's weird. <laughs> that's the first time that's happened. Yeah. This is pointless. I should get back to floor A. Maybe someone else has found her. Or maybe Fi just found her first because we're... Taking our sweet time. Yeah. So we don't actually know that she wasn't there yet. We'll find out. <laughs> I'm bored. I've done this 18 times. <laughs> wow. I love you. <laughs> Making me sound like Shirley Temple or something. <laughs> Some no, she's a lot cuter. Bratty yeah. little girl. Then what I did. Not then you. No one's cuter than you! Stop it. Stop. <laughs> You're the cutest boy in Feathersine! <laughs> Everyone's like, what did she just say? She said, You're the cutest boy I've ever seen. And her Shirley Temple <laughs> impersonation. <laughs> I can do a better one Does, than that, I bet. Yeah. She doesn't typically do a Shirley Temple impersonation. I've never attempted that never. before. Yeah. That was just my little kid voice. This was a spur of the moment thing. Doesn't look like <laughs> anybody's here. <laughs> Let's explain the bit. I should have a look in the rooms. Well, I'm, they might be confused. You know how these people get. <laughs> you do anything weird and they're like, is John drunk? <laughs> people wonder if you're drunk? Yes, they, I get that all the time. Anytime I do anything... <laughs> Out of the ordinary. Slightly out of the ordinary. Is John drunk? That's hilarious. John typically only drinks at, like, conventions. Yeah. Or if my family offers you, like, a beer or a wine glass. I mean, I know we're ruining the moment where Alice is oh, found sorry. dead. But we found Alice dead, like, a million times. Oh, my God! This time, though, it's not the knife. It's the scalpel. Oh. The first thing I saw when I stepped through the door was the blossom of red on her chest. The blossom. It was almost like getting punched. <gasps> Stop short. No, why did this happen? My body refusing to move. Huh? He's forcing one shaky yeah. foot forward. I and forced one the shaking foot forward. And then the next. My legs began to wobble. And I put a hand against the wall to steady myself as my heart thundered in my chest. Boom, 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 boom. I'm the wall. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> This looks pretty bad, but you don't actually know anything yet. 
Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Maybe it's not too late. Yeah. Maybe we can still save her. Then at last, I pressed my fingers to her neck. And those hopes were dashed. No pulse. Clearly she wasn't breathing either. Her pupils had dilated hideously, making her face seem somehow inhuman. Oh no, like crossing my eyes is trying to dilate them. To, you were trying to be the dead faced. Yeah. That's how you think the dead face. <laughs> how do you think her inhuman dead face would look? I don't know. I'm not going to try it though. No. Oh, clean in the middle. It's like a credit card. Embedded in her chest was a scalpel. I was no doctor, but judging by the angle, it looked like it had pierced her heart. Well, the heart's more on the left side. Maybe it, maybe it was angled more that way, but the boobs were keeping it straight out. Mm. Had someone stabbed her? Well, no. What is she? Yeah, she might have just stabbed herself. We're all going to die. I'd rather die here! <laughs> I like unhinged Alice. I do too. This voice actress no. is great. No. She died. Something in my brain snapped. Yarg. 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 A scream clawed its way out of my body, taking my mind with it. The last thing I felt was my body slumping to the floor. As the road went dark. When I came to, I was floating in a field of nothingness. Huh? I'm floating. Wait, what? I think we just got killed. I think someone just murdered us. Wait. Hang on. No, 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 no. Lock number six. Where did Alice go? But we know. We know that. We, she, you know what weirds me out is that when, when we don't have the lock unlocked, it looks like this, right? Right. When we do have it unlocked, it, it looks like this. Right. And this one looks like this. So I'm really confused. Do we just start there? I'm gonna see if I can skip through this again. Then suddenly, the world shifted. Do you not remember this? I don't remember us unlocking our own lock. Because <laughs> that's what happened. Yeah. By experiencing this By experiencing scene, this that scene, unlocked it. Then we just hop back. I forgot. That's crazy. I was sitting there. I was like scratching my head. I was like, we. But we should be able to. <laughs> For just an instant, I like. I was, I was like, where else would we go? Because like I know the yeah. rest of the story. So. <laughs> For just an instant, I was somewhere else entirely. My mind reeled, and then just as I began to adjust, it was gone. As if nothing had happened. That was cool, though. That was so. It's almost as if we jumped. Yes. Like midstream. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm communicating this accurately, but you, I think you know what I mean. We we didn't make a big jump. We made a really small one. Right. Like we hadn't, we haven't done that before. Right. Yeah. It's a different jump. Yeah. What well, what was that? It was the same sensation I felt when I saw the vision of the bomb ex exploding. Had it been a premonition? Yeah. This is bad. I need to find Alice. Now. But now we know where to but go. Where could she be? Damn it, Alice, where are you? Crew quarters. What about the crew quarters? Yeah. Yeah, that, that has to be it. I set off at a dead run. I wonder if Fai is going to be there this time. I mean, I hope I don't have to go to the bee garden first before going to the crew quarters. I don't see why we would have to, though. But, like, we went to the pantry first, so maybe she went... Because clearly she goes to the bee garden before going to the crew quarters, you'd think. I don't know. 
The moment I entered the crew hallway, I made straight for the door to the number two room. Alice should be in here. I swallowed and threw open the door. There she is. She's not dead yet. Good, good, good. Alice. So you were here. As I spoke, her eyes turned toward mine, but I didn't get the feeling that they were looking at me. Her skin was pale and sickly, and one of her hands held the scalpel like I'd caught her in the middle of something. What are you doing here? It's okay. I'm just here to help you. Help me? What do you mean? Just let go of that scalpel. No. I need it to get this bracelet off. Huh? Remember what Zero Jr. told us? The bracelet comes off when your heart stops. So I just have to... No, stop it. Stop! Before I even finished the word, I was running. I grabbed both her arms and wrenched them back, pulling the blade away from her chest. Oh my no! god! Let me go! I have to do this! I can't take it anymore! This whole thing is like a nightmare I can't wake up from! The only way I'm going to get out of here is to die! Knock it off! <laughs> With a grunt, I tore the scalpel from her hands. It was a second before I felt a burning pain in my left hand. I'd apparently cut myself getting the damn thing away from her. Very quickly it progressed from a dull throbbing to a hot line of pain across my palm. I clenched my teeth and squeezed my hand tight. I was so focused on my pain that I barely heard Alice collapse. She didn't respond when I shook her. Hey, are you alright? Alice! Say something! There was a moment of terror before I realized she was still breathing. I didn't know why, but it seemed she'd only passed out. Shit. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, man. Maybe the infirmary. It's got all those medical things. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> buoyed by adrenaline. Buoyed? Oh, I always say buoyed. Oh, it's like, buoy. Like buoyancy. Right, but it's buoy. But you say buoyancy. But you know, like the buoys that are out in the water to mark like depth and stuff. Yeah, no, I know it's called a buoy when it's just. Right, but that's how you spell it, is B U O Y. Yeah, I know, but you don't say buoyancy. You say buoyancy. Right. I don't know. I think it's buoyed. That's how I've always heard it. Either way... It's a stupid st word. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Buoyed by adrenaline, <laughs> I hefted Alice's body and took off towards the infirmary. Watch it be Bowied. Or how did you say Bowied? it? Bowied. Boyed. Boyed. <laughs> Boy. I'm pretty sure it's not Boyed. The principle of buoyancy. If something Boyant. is buoyant, it floats. What a sexist right, word. Please pay attention, I mean, everyone. Alice's got... A couple of buoyant somethings. Excuse me? <laughs> no, but really, though. I'm Be sure carrying her was like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> you get a sight. <laughs> Sigma's carrying her like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking he threw her over his shoulder, and so her boobs are just like on his back, and he's oh. like, this is really weird. <laughs> Come up behind him, and you're like, what's happening here? You need to hear this. We skip this. She's saying She's that she it. has radical sex. Everything's she got coming tipped. up Sigma, huh? What a lucky, lucky man you are. What? You two are going to be playing against Clover. If she doesn't vote, then she'll default to Ally. Oh, because Clover's saying that she's not going to vote because she's going to stay with Alice. Right. That means if she stays here, the two of you are going to be sitting pretty. Especially you, Sigma. After all, you've got six BP right now. Are you saying I'm gonna choose betray? If you do, you'll get what you need to escape. You bastard. There's no way I'd do that. Is that so? Yes, it is so. For one, I'm not the only one making this decision. Luna's my partner, and she'll be in the AB room with me. You really think she'd just stand by and let me do something like that? Back me up here, Luna. Um, yeah. Well. 
Actually, I was planning to let you make the decision. See? Told you. You can lie to us if you want, but you can't lie to yourself. Shut up! Um... What? If I might make a suggestion, what if Sigma and Luna both remained here? Should all three of you abstain? Oh yeah. And you would all be guaranteed. Because he doesn't know about the rule. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nope, doesn't work like that. Here, take a look at this. Pulled the scrap of paper we found out of my pocket. Huh? What's this? Found it when we went to the archives. There wasn't anything like this in the pantry. See, it's weird because usually after Dio throws open the AB room or whatever. Right. The Ambidex gate. Then you show this to him. And he's like, oh, I didn't know. Right, but we were interrupted because Kay was like, Quark. But I swear it's not the first time Kay's burst through the door and says that Quark has collapsed. Right. So it's just interesting to me. Okay. Nothing in the garden either. Hmm. I guess they only put one in the archives. Whatever. I'll just read it for you. We don't have to read it. We we know. We know it. Yeah, yeah. Not everyone has. Someone has to vote. Get it? The whole team that can't means abstain. That either Dio or Tenmyoji is going to have to vote then, and they're playing against Alice. Oh. Yeah, I guess screwed. playing against is a little generous. Just uh, just a quick little slip in. If you're like, ah, I feel like I've seen all this stuff before, just wait. Okay. Okay. I know Alice's ending was pretty disappointing in terms yeah. of reveals, but. We're we're reaching the point of the game where it's just gonna start coming and coming and right. One it's after gonna be another. like a waterfall of yes. info. Yeah. Like we're done with all the repetition after this stuff. So Alice is guaranteed to vote ally, which means that if Dio picks betray. Uh, knock it off. You trying to get back at me for what I said earlier? No way am I gonna choose betray. Shut you up. You do know Dio. her BP's at one, right? What do you think would happen to her if I did that? Do you actually care? Yeah, we know. I wouldn't put it past you. What? Cool it, boys. Don't worry. I'm gonna be in that room, too. I'd planned to stay here with Quark, just to make sure he was safe. But it doesn't look like I'm gonna have that luxury. I can't trust Dio to make a decision for all three of us. That means we're gonna be sharing a room, bucko. Interesting. Tenmyoji's not staying behind with Quark. That's never happened before. Never happened before. I've got my eye on you. Happy now, Sigma. Yeah, thanks. That's a relief. Exactly. Oh, yeah, man. that's why we said Everybody's it. Everybody's against me. Whatever shall I do? Can't be too careful. I wouldn't want to see Alice killed by an unfortunate accident. What do you mean, accident? Oh, Tenmyoji, before we went into the CDs, you told Alice there was something you wanted to tell her. Um, what was it? Huh? Oh, that, uh, well... I mean, look, it wasn't important. Just forget about it. Five minutes remain. Time's running out, people. Clover and I will stay here and keep an eye on Alice and Quark. Everyone else needs to go. What? You're staying too? What? Yeah, something does happen. Clover might need a hand. Aren't you a solo? We're playing against K and Quark, but with Quark out, that means K would get to decide this whole round. Do you really trust him? Are you saying that you trust me? Yes. Even though I have six BP? Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you nuts? What happens when he gets nine BP? I'm not worried. K won't betray me. How can you know that? I just know, I guess. You just know? What the fuck is wrong with you? That's weird. Something happened, yeah. Did something happened between Phi and K while they were out exploring? I understand. I can hardly betray trust like that, can I? I will vote for our team. Good. We're counting on you. <sighs> I've had enough of this bullshit. <laughs> Dia's like, people are happy, gross. Four minutes remain until... Ambidex game polling closes. Come on, we need to hurry. Hmm. All right, you kids. Take care of those two, okay? Of course. We promise. With that, we were off. All right. Start thinking about whether you're gonna ally or 
Betray. Betray. I gave one last quick nod to Fi and Clover <laughs> before heading back to the warehouse at a dead run. This is how he's going. He's like, he's like doing the Phoebe <laughs> run. He's doing jazz hands while he runs. Here we go, folks. This is my dead run. <laughs> his dead run, run is just him flopping his yeah, body. Yeah, just like, this is his dead run. Yeah, I'm dead. He starts walking like a zombie. <laughs> Everybody ready? <laughs> Going to open my AB gate. Although I guess that doesn't really matter. Dio already opened one earlier. Then only you and I remain. Right. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. So, okay, so who's voting? Okay, K. Uh, us and Luna. Us and Luna. K, mm -hmm. Temioji, and Dio. That's it. Only five people out of nine. Nine, yeah. Two more AB gates slid open. We all shared one last look at each other before ducking into our respective rooms. Hmm. All right. You already know the speech from Luna. Right. She wants us to ally. Two minutes. I don't care. What are you going to do? I mean, how are you going to vote? No question. If Clover's is voting, then she's defaulting. Sorry, I just keep thinking about how a couple episodes ago, we were talking about everybody outside the AV room being like, oh yeah, I'll pick Ally. Yeah, yeah. no problem. And then they get in, and as soon as the door's shut, they're like, Betray. Betray. <laughs> 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 it's just like the idea that like yeah, that like yeah. like the doors close and they're like they go from like uh huh uh huh uh huh they have like a weird like uh I don't know Nagito moment I guess yeah, yeah. So or like or like huh? or like uh uh what's her name oh my god what's her name. Genocide Jack from oh, Tangerompa. Yes. Yeah. Transformation takes place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like yeah, that kind of. Like that. Except without the annoying laugh. I thought it was good. No, it was good. <laughs> it was good. You did a great job. Betraying someone who isn't even playing hardly seems fair. Of course, I think so too. I'm just glad <laughs> to hear you say it. I just like the idea that he's like, betraying someone who isn't playing hardly seems fair. <laughs> <laughs> then he pressed. What? <laughs> Luna's face broke into a warm, happy smile. Not to be sappy, but it was like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy oh day. Oh god, it is sa sappy. I grinned back at her before I even knew what I was doing. For a minute, Jay. the nonary game didn't seem so scary. Then she spoke. Sigma, what's wrong with your hand? Huh? There's oh, something yeah. white on it. There's what? W what? What the hell is this? For the first time since I'd found Alice in the crew quarters, I looked down at my hand. Across the palm was some sort of strange white liquid. For a moment, I thought I'd somehow touched some white paint or something similar. But the truth was far stranger. The liquid was coming from my hand. Are we a golem? It was coming from the cut I'd given myself when I grabbed the scalpel away from Alice. But why? Where was the blood? Felt a very odd sort of fear begin to wrap its hand around my throat. Quickly, I held my palm against my chest. I shouldn't have let Luna see that. Are you all right? Yeah, it's nothing. I went to the pantry while I was looking for Alice. And there was some milk, and I spilled it. it. Sounded even stupider as I said it. <laughs> really? Yeah. But. Don't worry about it. Just shut up! It's fine, alright? I'm fine! Leave me alone! 
and regretted the words the moment they were out of my mouth. But something was wrong, very wrong, and my head was spinning. Sigma. From out of my mouth. Well, <laughs> I know, because well, I was going too slow. It's because I was going faster than the words. <laughs> it's just funny. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was cute. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. I just... It's... Just don't worry about it, okay? There, I'm waiting until it fully shows up before I speak, see? So it never happens again. Remain. There was no time left. I had to vote. I turned and faced the machine. You can press! <laughs> I took a few deep breaths, but the chaos in my mind refused to calm itself. <laughs> calm down. Just calm down. <laughs> you need to think about the AB game right now. Just forget about your hand. Who was I kidding? There's no way I could forget about something like that. Ten seconds remain. Nine, eight, okay. seven, six. You're gonna get the pig. Five, four, okay, I wanna talk about three, it. Two, Sorry. one. That's fine. Okay. So my gut instinct is to say betray, because I really want to see what happens. But if we ally, is it just going to be like, oh, yay, and then like boring story? Or if we betray, is it like, yeah, now get good. Okay, at this point, I feel comfortable just telling you, you should just pick ally. Okay, fair, great. Okay. Thank you. Kimmy picked ally all on I her own. I picked ally. Because I know that like this is the part of the story where it starts to Round two change enough and I don't want to be like, game. let's pick this Has one that's going to be completed. the poor of the two options. Yeah, if it's just going to be like, somebody leaves. Right. Like we just get stabbed and game somebody over. leaves, yeah. Results will thank you, Ambidex. No, thank you, announcer. Luna's going to be happy with us though. We, we hit ally. That's right. She's going to do her... Yeah. You did it! Luna and I stepped out of the AB room. Could see they have this filing out of their rooms as we did. So you chose <laughs> Ally after all. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that is what she looks like. To be honest, the AB game was the last thing on my mind. As chaotic as my thoughts were, they all centered on one thing. The mysterious white liquid. Do you want to go see the results? Mm-hmm. Sure. Luna nodded and walked off towards the projection, but I couldn't move. I glanced around to make sure no one was watching, and opened my hand. The liquid didn't seem to have clotted or run out. Since it was still oozing thickly out of the slit in my hand. Ugh. When the hell is this? It looks like bird poop. It does. It looks like a bird just shit in his hand. <laughs> it couldn't be blood, could it? No. That was impossible. No matter how many white blood cells clumped together, you'd never get anything that looked like that. He just had a massive infection and didn't know it. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd never seen my blood do this before. In 22 years of life, I'd seen my body bleed many times. Scraped knees as a kid. Accidental nicks with a knife as an adult. But every single time, I'd bled red, like any other human being. So why was it in that this time, it was white? <laughs> what the hell is happening to me? Hey, Sigma, what are you doing? Get the hell over here. They're gonna show the results. Yeah, right. On my way. I did my best to compose myself and headed over to join the others. I told you about when we went to the aquarium and results from round two. An yeah. exotic the bird shit in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> Were you like, <laughs> like I was Sigma? just like I was staying right by the enclosure. And it's like, butt was out, and I didn't notice it, because I was looking at the other birds, and it just shit my hand. <laughs> You're like, oh, I had to go wash you. my hands immediately. <gasps> Yay! What? Did everyone ally? Everyone allies. Whoa! And nobody's at nine points! Holy cow! Look at that. The one good round. One thing I'm noticing, Dio, ally. Probably because Tenmyoji punched him and made him. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because he, yeah, knocked him out and then. 
Although to be fair, I do think that Dio wasn't interested in killing Alice. Hmm. Well, I mean, he had five points. So even if, even if he had betrayed, this is weird. Dio's at five points. So that means that Dio has allied twice in yeah. this route. Yeah. For him to be at seven points, hmm. that's the only way for it to happen. <sighs> weird. Unless he got betrayed and then betrayed twice, but that obviously didn't happen. Cool. Right. All right. Well, everybody's doing great except Alice and Tim Yoshi. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. Like, everyone is one ally away from escaping, except for those two. This is our second time to do this, right? Or is this our second. third? Second. Right. So he betrayed the first time. So he probably betrayed Alice and Tim Timioji. Who? What? Dio. No, no, no. Because Dio has five points. He started with three. The only way he could have five is if he uh, allied. Oh, I forgot that we started with three. Yeah. I thought we started with two. You're right. So yeah. Which wouldn't have made sense. Here's right? what here's what happened. You can tell what happened. Sigma and I guess Phi betrayed Alice. Mm -hmm. K and Clover betrayed Tenmyoji. And Quark, That's why they Dio, have six. Luna all allied. And Quark, Luna, and Dio allied. Yeah. So yeah. Points have been assigned. Please check your Yeah, check the races. Let's get the reaction. This should be a good one. We've never had something this so pleasant. Is incredible. I know. Look, everyone it's beautiful. voted ally. And it's weird because in the other route, everyone votes betray. Yeah, that like was great. Promised, Kay. How could I choose betray after what Phi said to me? Ten Miyoji and Dio voted ally too. Of course. If we hadn't, Alice would have died. Dio's like, yeah. yeah. Well, that's about yeah. it, I guess. We should thank the both of huh. you as well. I'm happy to see you also chose ally. Oh, I didn't have anything to do with it. That was all Sigma. Then thank you very much, Sigma. Sigma? Sigma, are you all right? Sigma. Come on, what's wrong? Just say something. Huh? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, looks like we all allied. That's, uh, great. Sigma, what the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, you've been acting a little out of it ever since we came out of the AB rooms. What happened? You make it past at Luna and get shot down? <laughs> yep. No. Nothing like that. Hey, man, it was a joke. You remember what that is? A joke? You're in pretty bad shape, huh? Before Dio could continue, the heavy metal rumble of the doors echoed throughout the... Shutting. Oh, shutting. Echoed throughout the warehouse. The Ambidex round yeah. through Starkey. There is the Ambidex Yeah, yeah. You can use them as many times as you want. We can you open the gates as many times as we want to. Then... That means... We can play the A-B game as many times as we like, right? Hey, Zero Jr. said something about this, didn't he? As soon as the gate's closed! <laughs> yeah, right. Sorry to be a pain, but uh, could you all show me your bracelets? I want to see what all your colors and assignments are. <laughs> oh, is this... Everyone nodded and held their arms out towards him. I stared at them, terrified to follow suit, but certain that refusing would only draw more suspicion. So I held my arm out, hand tightened into a white-knuckled fist to hide the cut. When the eyes landed on my hand, my heart skipped a beat. Huh. So Dio and Kay are a yellow pair. Luna and I are both pairs, but our colors are different. Right. You're a cyan, and I'm magenta. That makes Sigma the only solo, huh? A red solo. So what are the four we left in the infirmary? Luna and I are pairs, so two of them are our partners. That means the other two are solos. Although, I guess we don't know what colors they are. They're probably green and blue. Why is that? Didn't you see them? There are a bunch of white doors in the Floor B warehouse. They have to be the next set of chromatic doors. Ah, yes. Phi and I saw them as well. On our way back from the garden with the unconscious Quark. And there they were. <laughs> it has to show us the route they took. With Quark unconscious? Yeah, because Quark collapsed. Right. Yeah. I guess they didn't have a choice, though. Yeah, they to had to back. go back that yeah. way to go to the elevators. Just like the doors on floor A. Given that, I don't see how there can be any question. Those white doors are our next set of chromatic doors. 
our bracelet combinations will have to add up to white in order to open the secondary doors. The pairs are cyan, magenta, and yellow. You see? Yeah. If we need to make white, then the other three colors would have to be red, green, and blue. Right. Uh-huh. Okay. That's the last time we'll ever have to talk about all that. Good. Now that we've got that figured out, I'm heading back to the infirmary for a bit. I want to check up on Quark and Alice. I shall accompany you then. Might as well go with you, I guess. No real reason to hang out here. Well, what will you two do? I... I need to talk to Sigma about something. About what? Something? Her usual pleasant expression had been replaced with something much more sullen. She must have noticed that there was something wrong with me. That was what she wanted to talk about. I was sure of it. Okay, fine. I managed to make my voice sound almost relaxed. Whoa, hold on. A private talk? What are you guys plotting? We're not plotting anything. I promise. It's nothing. <laughs> fine, whatever. We are going out on a date. <laughs> <laughs> Dio tossed his head with a mixture of arrogance and feigned disinterest, and marched out the yellow door. Tenmyoji and Kei quickly followed. In only moments, all three had disappeared. Well, this is interesting. So, uh, what was it that you wanted to talk about? I was almost certain I knew, but there was always hope. I did my best to act as if I was genuinely confused. Oh, um, I don't really like this room. Could we go somewhere else? Um, okay? Good. I found somewhere nice when I was looking for Alice earlier. As strange as her request was, I had no reason to object. I kept my mouth shut and followed Luna as she headed out. Had she headed out? <laughs> I thought I was going to say out, right? but then I said off. Alf. The garden. You know this place? Yes, well, sort of. I came here once when I was looking for Alice. Oh, I see. So, uh, what brings you here? Isn't this nice? This is the only place in the whole facility with anything green. I feel kind of silly saying it, but it makes me think of the great outdoors. I think it's the perfect place for a serious conversation. Being surrounded by nature makes me feel... happy. Oh, there's a bench over there. Would you like to sit down with me? She sat down softly and gently, and I lowered myself down next to her. So, what do you want to talk to me about? You okay? Mm-hmm. Instead of answering, Luna lifted the tiny birdcage pendant she wore in the, to the palm of her hand. She was silent for a moment, and then began to talk. Can really I tell cute. you something? This is actually a music box. Really? Yes. Oh. I made him sound way too eager. Really? Really. Sorry. She twisted the key on the bottom, and made an almost imperceptible winding noise. When she released it, soft, clear notes drifted out. It's a nice song. Why'd you bring that up, though? Because I... wanted you to know, I guess. I wanted you to know more about me. Maybe it's because I'm so shy, but I don't really have any friends. Or even any acquaintances, really. So I've sort of always been alone. It was really hard. I felt so lonely a lot of the time. And it... It hurt. It felt like I was just kind of going to... Collapse from the inside out. That was when I got this music box. Someone very important gave it to me. Mm. They didn't say anything. But I felt like there was an unspoken message behind it. Luna, happiness is closer than you think. Do you know Major Link's The Bluebird? Yeah. Well, I know the gist of it. 
I think it starts on Christmas Eve. This brother and sister named Tiltle and Mytil? Asked to find a blue bird by this old woman, and they travel to the dream world. Or something. Anyway, supposedly, if you can catch this bird, then you can make a wish come true. So they visit all these different places, but they can't find it. Eventually, they give up and go home. When they wake up, the bird is in a bird cage in their hut. That's right. It's a well-known story, and it teaches a simple lesson. Yeah, like you said, happiness is closer than you think. Right. It got me thinking. Maybe the person who gave me this music box was trying to tell me just that. I don't know if that's true. Maybe all of this is just in my head, but I really felt like that was what they meant. It was so... kind. I kept it with me all the time, like a kind of good luck charm. But... One day I realized something. There was another meaning to the bluebird. In Major Link's original story, it doesn't end with them waking up. There's more? Yes. When Tiltil and Mittil try to feed the bird, it leaves the cage and flies away. And then the story ends. Whoa. What about the moral then? It changes. Now the message is that just when you think you found happiness, you'll lose it again. I thought about that for a while. But in the end, it didn't change how I felt. I don't know what they intended it to mean when they gave it to me, but I decided how I was going to look at it. Mm. It means that happiness is something you should always be looking for, and it's only when you're pursuing happiness that you're truly happy. Hmm. You know, Sigma, I think you might be Tiltil. What? You know, the boy who the old lady asked to find the bluebird on Christmas Eve. What are you trying to say? Can I ask you something? Uh, um, sure. Where did you find Alice? What does that to do with anything? Just answer me. Where did you find Alice? Room 2 in the crew quarters. Where were you before that? I was in the lounge. That was after we'd split up to go look for Alice. The first place I went was the lounge. So you went from the lounge to the crew quarters, where you found Alice. And then you rushed her to the infirmary, right? Yeah. Okay, tell me this then. How do you know about the garden? Just now, you said you'd come here when you were looking for Alice. Didn't you? That doesn't make any sense. There wouldn't have been any time for you to visit the garden while you were looking for Alice. So tell me, Sigma, how do you know about this place? Well... Um... Listen. <laughs> yeah. It's a whole thing! Oh, yeah. Sit down. <laughs> yeah. I got some weird things to tell you. <laughs> I know what to say. I couldn't even explain it to myself. Why had I told her I knew about the garden? Why had I told her I'd been there before? Sigma, are you... Are you a robot? Have you always been here? Uh, what? See, it would make so much sense if you were. That would explain why you knew about the garden, and, and it would explain that cut on your left hand. Damn. So you did see it, huh? Yes. I've been told that robots these days have what's called Artificial Biological Tissue, or ABT, on top of a metal skeleton. It makes them look almost exactly like a human. And ABT uses this white liquid instead of blood. For some reason, when Luna had called me a robot, it hadn't really phased me. Maybe because it was just so out there. It didn't sound like a real possibility. Sound more like a theory you'd get from someone in a nut house. Still. My hand was still oozing white liquid. Was I really a robot? No. That was impossible! I need to stop doing that! 
questioning myself so much was giving me heart palpitations. Luna, aren't you a little scared? Scared? Why would I be scared? Well, let's say I am a robot. That means there's a pretty good chance Zero's pulling my strings. That would make me your enemy. Oh, I guess so. Well, even if you were, I wouldn't be scared. Why not? Hmm. Maybe because you're a robot. Huh? Have you ever heard of the three laws of robotics? I knew she was gonna bring they it up. They were a set of rules created by the science fiction author Isaac Asimov that he used in several of his stories. Rule one. A robot may not injure a human being or, through inaction, allow a human being to come to harm. Rule two. A robot must obey any orders given to it by human beings, except when such orders would conflict with the first law. Rule 3. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. Oh, yeah, I've heard those before. That's just an ideal, though. You could work towards that, but I don't think you could ever actually achieve it. I mean, depending on how you program them, robots could be pretty much whatever they wanted to. Yes, you're right. But I believe in them. In you. However you're programmed, I don't think you'd break any of the three laws. A robot without the three laws is just a bunch of metal and plastic. That's not you. You have a heart. You're a good person. It's in your eyes. Well, I guess I'm just kind of assuming you're a robot. There's still a chance you're not. We should run some tests. Tests? Yes. Um... How? Well, the Atom should be able to tell us. Oh yeah, that thing in the infirmary. I heard the crunch of dried leaves behind us. But when I turned, there was nothing. Who is it? Is... is someone there? Just me. Fi! Sorry, but can you guys come over here? I need you to see something. Have you been here this whole time? <laughs> Moon and I looked at one another, shrugged, and stepped into the bushes. No big deal. Could be a robot. Don't know. Welcome. What? How long have you been here? I just got here a little while ago. Did you... hear what we were saying? No. Were you talking about something you didn't want me to know about? Yes. Whatever. Just have a look at this. Is it the bomb? I follow the line of her finger. Yep. It's the bomb. Yeah. Shit! This... this is... An antimatter bomb! Exactly. I'm pretty sure someone didn't move it here from the crew quarters. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's an entirely different bomb. Look at the number on the side. It says 01. And the one in the crew quarters said 3, right? Then that must mean... Shit. Then there's no question, huh? I've got more good news. Just think about the numbers for a moment. You're saying there's a two bomb out there somewhere? At Can't least. be sure, but it does seem pretty likely. Damn it. That means we're dealing with a com combined explosive power equal to three tons of TNT. Yeah. Who planted them? Was it you guys? I mean, you've been in here quite a while. Hey, don't give me that. You're way more suspicious than we are. What were you doing in the bushes anyway? Well, uh, I was... taking a walk. Taking a walk? You really think I'm gonna buy that? Fine. You got me. I heard you two were off talking in secret. So I got curious and went back to the Floor A warehouse. Of course you weren't there. That seemed pretty suspicious to me, so I headed here. And, just as I'd suspected, there you were, talking on the bench. I snuck up from behind so you wouldn't notice me. Then, just as I was getting close enough to hear, I found the bomb. So, believe me now? So, who planted the bomb? <laughs> Honestly, it could have been any one of us. Anybody could have come here while we were all looking for Alice. 
but it was Dio, though. Yeah, but we know it was Dio. <laughs> it was, we need to tell Dio. everyone about this, then. The thing is, though, like, this can technically be, like, your first route, can it? Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah, so. Yeah, you're right. Let's head back to the infirmary. So maybe at this point you wouldn't know that it's Dio. I guess unless you l unlock the Dio ending. Right. Yeah. Everyone else was already there when we arrived. Clover looks like she's saying, like, call me. <laughs> call me, baby. Why do you hate that song so much? It's so stupid. She's commented on it, like, I don't know, several times recently. Because I've heard it more often lately. Just, like, out and about, you know? Mm. I don't understand why. Clover and Temmyoji. K and Dio. Yeah. Of course, Alice and Quark. <laughs> and our two sleepy heads. Both seem to be sleeping peacefully. You never think to look at them that they'd been completely insane not so long ago. Meaning like an hour ago. <laughs> Alright, everybody, listen up. I told them how we'd found the number one bomb in the garden. You okay? Yes, you yawned and I yawned. Oh, sorry. And how, judging by the numbering on the two bombs we've found so far, there's probably a number two bomb out there somewhere, too. Oh, this is bad. Oh, sorry. I like how what she holds her do? hair. Ooh, well, yeah. I think Alice mentioned something. There should be an emergency deactivation password. Right. If you enter Which? that password, the device should, well, deactivate. Right, but you not on right the here. device. There's a port. Yeah. If we can find the password input device. We yeah, just we, connect it here. We need that device. Then we can enter the password. So if we have the password, we can deactivate them? Oh, whoa, hold on a second. That's great and all, but we need that password input device she was talking about. Without that, we're still boned even if we did have the password. We, huh? Yeah. We're what now? <laughs> That's why I want all boned. of you to let me search you. I beg your pardon? You heard me. Chances are whoever planted those bombs is in this room. There's also a good chance they've also got the device we need to deactivate the bombs. So you're planning to search us for it? Dio starts exactly. slowly backing away. But... Yo, what does that mean? No buts. If you refuse, then I'll assume it's because you've got it and you planted the bombs. Unless you want that, I suggest you cooperate. Clear? Good. Now who's going to be first? Hmm. Who is it gonna be? Wait. Huh? You only need to search one person. What? Why? Because I figured out who did it. I, I know who did it. The words were out of my mouth before I'd even realized I was saying them. How can you... There's no way. Yeah. I met Fi's gaze and nodded, then turned away. I know who set the bombs. That person. So you have to get the Alice ending to get to this point. That person is... <laughs> the killer is... You! <laughs> Dio! Oh. The ultimate liar! Yeah. <laughs> I thought liar. he was talking to Fi, and I was like... Is this switching it again? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, what is this? It's you! Are you high? Well, we're about to find out. Do it if I am. <laughs> yeah. You got a problem with that? <laughs> Sorry, Kay, but could you hold him down? Uh, uh, well. It's on him, I promise. Or, it's on him, I promise. Knock it off, Sigma. You're doing this all backwards. It's in his hat. Stupid so, hat. This isn't court. Besides, all we want to know is who set those bombs. <sighs> And why are you getting so worked up anyway? If you're innocent, then a search will show that, and I'll look like an idiot. Nice try, but that's some bullshit totalitarian logic. I don't think so. What are you even basing this on? How do you know I set the bombs? 
Because Spit it out. I know about the Myrmidons. The Myrma what? I beg your pardon? No. How do you know that, Sigma? Oh, that's not all I know. I know about Free the Soul. I know about Brother. What the hell are you talking about? You should know, Fi. I can tell you the details later. But there's no question that you were the one who set the bombs. I like Dio's like... What? I like that he's holding his hat. Yeah. He's like, what? The fuck do you think you are? None of that has anything to do with me. I don't know who the Myrmidons are, and I don't know what Free the Soul is, and I certainly don't know anything about some old fart called Brother. <laughs> oh, Dio. Tell me, how's that foot taste? Who the Myrmidons are? I don't recall saying the Myrmidons were people. Hmm. And what about Brother? How would you know his age if I haven't said anything besides his name? Uh. Wait, so... He's left, but, but that means he's a terrorist. A terrorist? Oh dear. Left? <laughs> <laughs> he's got his moment. Well, looks like I won't be able to talk my way out of this one. Seriously though, when did we get so famous? The Myrmidons aren't supposed to be something anybody knows about, let alone YouTube jokers. No, he has no idea that, like, Clover's in right. the, the organization, the SOS or whatever. Right. Okay, you got what? me. Yes, I'm the leader of the Myrmidons. My real name is Left. I was sent here to stop Zero Senior's AB plan. That's why I planted the bombs. If it looked like the plan might actually succeed, I was supposed to blow this whole place sky high. AB plan. What's that? Oh, wow. Well. Looks like you don't know everything after all. I should have been more careful. But then again, it's not like it really matters. After all, you're gonna die here. What? God damn it. No. I leapt towards him. Well there. <laughs> Better not come any closer. You think I'm not prepared for this? Take one step and it'll be your last. Then that thing you're holding. It's the detonator. Yeah, I guess it is. Now back the fuck off! Dio, please calm down! If you press that button, you'll die too! So? Clearly he's me, okay with there's that. There's plenty more where this came from. Now that we've cleared that up, back off! Come on, move it! Go, go, go! We had no choice. Slowly, carefully, we backed away. All of us, except for one. Ten the OG. Hey, Grandpa, your hearing gone? I said back off. No. <sighs> you, I'm not screwing around here. I can see that. So why don't you do it? Go ahead, press that button. What? Ten the OG? Something wrong? Hurry it up, I'm not getting any younger. Oh, do I sense hesitation? What's the matter, Dio? Scared. Well? <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> so you were just bluffing. I'm not bluffing, goddammit. You hear me? I'll do it. Oh, I'm sure you will. But there's really something I should tell you. See that detonator you're holding? It's a fake. What? For just an instant. Dio's eyes twitched down to the device in his hand. That was all the opening Tenmyoji needed. Yeah! He cried out as he leapt through the air. Tenmyoji's leg shot out, knocking the detonator from Dio's hand. <laughs> Shit! Not good. What happened? The detonator. He doesn't have it anymore. What? What's happening? Same thing happened. There's a red light on it now. <laughs> oh, you really fucked up, Tenmyoji. This is what happens when you try to show off. What? I'm sorry. This is my fault. I didn't have time to tell you how it worked. What are you saying? The detonator is supposed to be separated from Dio. 
If it is, then the timer on the bombs automatically activates. Damn, how much do you know? <laughs> Fine, Get whatever. him out. <laughs> well, he's right. If that thing ever gets more than a meter away from me, it activates. When it does, it starts the timers on all the bombs. So thanks to this old fart, you get to try and defuse a bunch of activated bombs on a countdown. You can go ahead and destroy the detonator if you want. Once the timers have been activated, they'll go off anyway. How long do we have? When do they explode? You should know, Sigma. Why don't you tell her? 30 minutes. Th 30 minutes? That's crazy! Yeah. How do we stop them? The emergency deactivation passwords. None of us know them, though. Right. None of us know. But there's someone who does, isn't there? <laughs> okay, okay. I'll give you one, since I'm such a swell guy. The password for bomb number two is... EQD, DYR, NTK. Where's your notepad? My notepad! EQD. Hang on. DYR, NTK. So we've got. We've got bomb zero, bomb one, bomb three, and now bomb, bomb two. two. EQD, DYR, NTK. We got them all. I Actually, wonder why he thought. Uh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh my god. Delete that one. Yeah. Yeah, delete this one. We gotta keep the other one. Okay. Yeah, the other so, one's gold. Yeah, so. Zero, right? I'm yeah. just gonna put them here because. That's a good idea. It's more fun that way. Okay, so what? we went ahead and wrote down all the bomb codes in the uh, brain memory. <laughs> what does Milk and Voli mean? Milk and Voli is the username for the computer. Oh. Uh yeah. Good job. Bomb number two. But we haven't found that one yet. Oh? Oh. Well, my mistake. Must have slipped my mind. Well, there's nothing you could do anyway. You don't have the input device. Really, it'll be much easier if you all just give up. Where's the input device? Oh, gosh. I wonder. Where did you put the number two bomb? Shoot, you know, I... I just can't remember. You son of a bitch. Anyway, I think it's time for me to be moving on. Check moving his on. hat. To where? What? I have to explain everything? To the next world, of course. No! Wait! Yeah, maybe tell him about the cyanide pill. I threw myself toward Dio and wrapped my hand around his wrist, slamming it to the floor. He struggled, but I put all my weight on it and kept his arm pinned. Shit! Let go of me, goddammit! Get off of me! Let me go! He continued to struggle, but I wasn't going to let him go. I shifted my weight to free one of my hands and started pry trying to pry his m his open. Wow. And, uh, hey, hey! I'm not fucking around, all right? Let go of my goddamn arm! By then, the others had run over and piled onto Dio along with me. Even then, he refused to stop. With increasing desperation, he tried to get the hand I had grabbed to his mouth. We don't have a choice. Luna, go get the Soparil. No! If we put him to sleep, we can't get what we need out of him! You think I don't know that? What other choice do we have? Every minute we spend wrestling this prick is a minute we don't have to deal with those bombs. We don't have time for this! Shit! What are you doing, Luna? Go! Right! Poor Luna. Okay, I've got it. I'm ready when you are. Ugh, you can do whatever you want to me, you fucking cowards. You're still gonna die. Go wow. ahead. Tell yourselves you can fix it. Run around like idiots before you get blown to atoms. Serves you fucking right. You're gonna burn. Oh, for God's sake. Luna, shut him up. Right. Here goes. <laughs> And he's out. <laughs> and that's a wrap. <sighs> now everyone pants. Yeah. People, even people who didn't do anything panted. What did Clover do? What was Clover panting? She was piled on. Maybe they, they were off. excited. Yeah. And they began to, as they began to climb off of him, I finally pried Dio's hand open. There I was, just what I expected. 
small and assuming capsule. I didn't know what was in it exactly, but it was undoubtedly some kind of poison. I stumbled towards the sink and tossed it into the drain. How much time do we have left? About 20 minutes or so, I think. And how much time until the white doors open? The same. So, what do we do? We put in those passwords and stop the bombs. We search Dio, but he doesn't have anything that might be the input device. Hmm. Well, only one thing to do then. And that is? Go to the lounge. We split up and find it. Unless any of you have another suggestion. A dismal silence filled the room. Even though no one spoke, I could see despair on every face. All right. No point sitting around. Until those things actually go off, we've still got a chance. Sigma, you come with me. We're going to have to go look at the number three bomb. See if the timer really has started or not. Right. All the rest of you, listen up. I want you to take Alice, Quark, and Dio to the Floor B warehouse. What? Why there? Just listen. Worst case scenario. We'll open the white doors and go through them to... wherever they go. Maybe we'll get lucky. Understood. We will take them to the Floor B warehouse. Once we've done so, we will begin to search for the input device in the number two bomb. Good. Thanks. Okay, we don't have much time left. Now get moving. Sigma, you're with me. Phi turned without waiting and headed for the door. Before I could blink, she was gone. I gave everyone else in the infirmary a quick thumbs up and a shaky smile, then hurried after her. Good luck! Okay, um, I'm not sure how much longer we have, actually. We have all the codes for the bombs, but we don't know... We still I don't, don't think... know where two is. It wasn't in the laboratory? Was two in the laboratory? Because one is here. I thought we had found bomb number zero, I thought. Yeah, this is three. I thought it was in the director's office. No. No? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. The light's flashing. I guess the countdown has started. So what are we going to do? Without a way to enter the passwords, we're screwed. Right. We'll just have to split up and look for it. I'll look around here. You go check somewhere else. Okay. If we get to T-minus five minutes, then we'll meet back in the Floor B warehouse. Got it? I wasn't sure what to say. If we hadn't found it by then, is there really any point in meeting up again? What's with that look? Don't worry. We'll figure it out, I promise. You know what they say. Swimsuits never quit. What? No, that's... That's not... That's not a thing. Yeah. And it doesn't make any sense. Besides, why the hell are you cracking jokes right now? I'm just, um... Trying to show you that life is still worth living. After all, if you quit now, there goes any possibility of you ever seeing me in a swimsuit. Oh. I see. Any tool at her disposal, huh? Well, I admit I am a bit curious. Right. Of course you are. Looks like we're on the same page. They get moving. We don't have time to stand around. Fine. Be careful, all right? I checked the time on my bracelet as I head out of the crew quarters and into the hallway. It wasn't good news. Damn, only 15 minutes. I need to hurry. I broke into a run. We don't have the input device. That's the big thing. Right. I'm thinking we should go to the lounge. Before long, I found myself in front of the infirmary. All too often, what you're looking for is right in front of you. We spent a lot of time in the infirmary, so it seemed like... ...kind of fitting somehow that it might have been there all along. Or maybe Dio had dropped it there recently. There was no way to know. In any event, I had to start looking somewhere. That is a good point. Hmm. Luna. You're still here? Yes. The others are taking the people who are asleep to the white doors. 
I chose to stay here. I thought you might come back. Why? Because the atom is here. I thought you might want to use it. Isn't that why you're here? What? I mean, yeah, I want to know what's going on with me. It's driving me nuts. Hell, I feel sick. But this isn't the time for that. Being a robot isn't going to mean a lot if I die anyway. Oh, why did you come here then? Isn't that obvious? I'm trying to find that input thing so we can turn off the bombs. Really? Yes. Why would I lie? I see. I seem to have made a mistake. I knew you couldn't use the atom without me. So I stayed behind because I thought I might be able to help. I guess I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Hmm. She turned and headed toward the exit. Wait. I couldn't just let her leave like that. I sighed. How long would it take? Not more than five minutes or so. Are you sure? Only five minutes? Yes. Okay. Let's do it. Analyze my body. It's too much time, dude. Well, we don't have the input device anyway. We're not going to be able to do it. Yeah. So... Might as well just die. Might as well just die. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Plus, don't you want to know if he's a robot or not? Yeah, I do. I lay down on the table. Luna picked up the atom scanner and began to run it across me, slowly and methodically. In a few minutes, she was finished. That's it. You can get up now. I sat up and hopped off the table. The screen was already starting to show my results. So, uh... <laughs> What does it say? My eyes were glued to her face, looking for any sign of what the answer might be. She studied the readout for several long seconds before replying. Well... It's our heart. It says you're not a robot. You're human. I let out a breath I hadn't realized I'd been holding. My relief didn't last long. But... your body isn't... Entirely human. What? You're part machine. Wait, what are you saying? Look here. The structure of the bones in your arms isn't anything close to human. They're made out of a titanium alloy. On top of that skeleton is artificial biological tissue. It's also called ABT. Your arms are cybernetic. What? What does that mean? Cybernetic? It means a mechanical system that interfaces with a biological one. You see all these root-like things around the titanium bones? Those are artificial nerves. They're probably connected to your own nerves, which is how you can move your arms. I imagine they allow you to feel things through your arms too. What? No, this is ridiculous. I think replacing my arms with robot ones is something I'd remember. And, I know they weren't always like this. When I was a kid, I broke my arm and they took an x-ray of it. The doctor never told me I had- The doctor told me I had really thick bones and that I must have done something pretty insane to break them. When the hell did this happen? Why did somebody replace my arms? Wait. Okay. Let's say you're right, and my arms are cybernetic. Wouldn't that mean I don't have to worry about the bracelet going off? No. Unfortunately, you probably do still have to worry about that. Why? The cybernetic arms are made to function just like real arms, which means they interface with the rest of your body, which means that anything injected into them is spread to the rest of your body. Boo! How do you know that? I just... do. That's not an answer. Yes, you're right. But not everything has an answer. There are some things you just can't explain. What? Don't you know how that feels? How did you know about the garden? How did you know that Dio planted the bombs? Uh... That's, um... I'm sorry, Sigma. I wish we could talk some more, but our time is up. Time? I pressed the buttons on my bracelet and felt my stomach drop. One, 
minute. I've only got a minute left. Sigma, there's one last thing. I was given very specific instructions. I knew it. I shuddered. Not because I was scared of what was about to happen. Because I was scared of Luna. She was calm, unnaturally so. Like a machine with a human face. We were about to die. How could she be so calm? Please pay attention. This is very important. You must be sure to remember it. Remember? I was about to die. How was I supposed to remember anything? Should you encounter a two-headed lion devouring the sun, remember GTF BM L 016. Add it to the memo. Yeah. Uh G T F Uh DML No 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 no! Sorry. <gasps> DM. D. L. M. L. 016. 016. So, you know what that means. With this key, the first gate shall be open to you. We can finally go back to that computer in the director's office. Oh my there god. You go. Again someday. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. <laughs> what? Before she could answer. The world exploded into noise and light, and I disappeared along with it. When I came to, I was floating in a field of nothingness. So. That's actually the Sigma ending. That's the Sigma ending? Yeah. Interesting. Didn't go into big one, one big uh, long-winded thing like some of the other ones do. But uh, yeah, so we found out that he has artificial arms. That he doesn't know about, which yeah. is insane. There's actually, I think, two endings that we can now do now that we've unlocked the sigma ending mm -hmm. it's like the big crux of the ending right whatever the way that they unlock so like yeah see there he is so now oh. we can um now that we've got him we can go back here solve the mystery of the two-headed lion i think we can also go back to five minutes of life the moment where Dio, where we have minus one BP, and we're about to die, mm -hmm. and I think he's about, he has the Accelivere and he's escaping. Mm -hmm. So I think we can go back to those two, mm -hmm. which will be great. Yeah. And we can wrap up those storylines. I can't wait to get Luna's story now. Yeah. So like, I think it's pretty obvious, like, which ones we have left, right? Mm -hmm. We've got Luna, mm -hmm. Quark, and Phi mm -hmm. are the last three. Phi so. is the one I'm most excited about. Right. So yeah, we're we're getting we're close. getting to it. We might even get two endings in the next video. We'll see. What? Yeah. So what did you think awesome. about that episode, real quick? I know you got to go to your stream. Yeah. So <laughs> I was not expecting the whole robot arm thing because whenever she scanned and was looking at it, I was like, okay, so he's clearly not like actually a robot mm -hmm. but he's also not like human either mm -hmm. but instead he was both so that's kind of crazy i thought it would have made more sense for him to be a robot because his memory's so good right but yeah yeah because i was thinking before the scan yeah i was like he's totally he's a golem or whatever yeah but apparently he's not a golem yeah so we'll see. that was crazy yeah no, I liked that. That was a good, way better than Alice's. I know. So Alice's, much better. Alice's and Clover's storylines, I felt like, were just so... And they seem like they're beefed up to be the best ones. There, There's a lot of attention put on them, like, in this phase of things, but moving forward, they are kind of... In the background a little bit more. They're just playing a silly secret agent game. 
basically. <laughs> yeah. I'm still very curious about K, so I hope we learn more about K. K is going to... You will learn more about K. Good. Okay. You're going to learn why he looks like us or why we look like him or whatever. Right. Yeah. Whichever way it goes. Yeah. Cool. All right. I'm excited. We're Me getting, too. We're getting <gasps> moving with this. This is so, fun. I'd say we probably have like maybe four or five videos left. Mm-hmm. It Depending. depends. We're going to want to do the whole grand finale in one sitting though. And that's probably going to be like a two, three hour video because it's a lot of talking. Of course. Yeah. Anyway. All right. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Think critically.